that fellow Clack Toshuki here with a review of the Kamen Rider Bill DX Genius Full Bottle. So this is the new full bottle for Bill's final form, the Genius Form. And I have to say, initial thoughts of this form was very, huh? But it's definitely grown on me and it's probably one of my favorite suits in the show. There's something about a white Kamen Rider suit that I just really like. Plus it's all colorful too. So it's like the best of both worlds. But I love it. Uh, this is probably actually one of my favorite toys from the entire line. Uh, why? I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. But uh, there is the full bottle right here. There's Genius Form right down there. All the cool stuff. LEDs, yay, buttons and phrases and stuff like. So this was released in June 2018 for about 2500 yen or so, give or take, depending on when and where you picked it up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this over and take a look. Alright, here we go. Quick little addendum. It was actually 3,000 yen, not 2,500 yen. Uh, so it's a little more expensive than I thought, but here is the QR code uh, for that, if you are so inclined. This is Rail System 99, and that should be familiar because it's just the rail system that makes the build driver say nothing. So... Uh, I like I like the feel of this. I like the look of this. It's just an all-around really comfortable and nice toy. It's a, a weird phrase for me to use. But I love the, the build logo down here with all the colors on that sticker. I think that's in particular really, really neat about this. Granted, it's what it sits on, so you don't ever get to see it. But it does have the nice hollow foil rainbow sticker up there. The cap does turn, but it does essentially nothing uh, at all just like most full bottles. Uh, the button for sounds is right here, and the little button that the build driver hits to activate the phrases is in this side right here. So, pretty cool. Uh, that is really about it. There is a build logo in there somewhere. There you go, you can kind of see it uh, from that angle, but very, very neat. Uh, so we'll go through the phrases right now. That was not supposed to be the first one, but I, apparently that's where I left it. That's supposed to be the first one. <laughs> I, I love that jingle. It's very majestic and royal, and I like it a lot. Well, that was perfect. Uh, so he says one of two things, Saikoda or Sayakuda, uh, depending on, it's just a random chance on which one he says. So really cool. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. I just love that a lot. All right, here we go. First of all, the way that this uses mirrors to make it look like an infinite row of pillars is beautifully done. Uh, and the LEDs changing colors uh, with the two actual pillars in here is mm, beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, plus, having the build driver voice and the splash driver voice uh, in here like together is just a nice culmination since this is all of Build's knowledge and inventions up until this point, like all smooshed together into a full bottle. Uh, I love that aspect of it as well. I think that's really cool. So, uh, really neat. It does make this a little bit uh, front heavy. Thankfully, it is standing perfectly okay. It's not like the, the magma knuckle where it just decides it wants to fall over. You can actually realistically display it like this. So, pretty cool. Uh, there are three different attacks. There's the one side, flip side, and all sides. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and go through those right now. We'll start with the one side. So this is his red side. Alright, 
right, I brought it a little closer for uh, this one just so you can kind of see what's going on in here a little bit better. Very cool. And finally, the all sides. I love this thing a lot. Uh, uh, very, very cool. That is really about it uh, for this. You can uh, use it with the uh, hazard trigger if you are so inclined, I suppose. That actually didn't line up terribly. I kind of dug it. <laughs> Just added Yabe in front of the Sagaze. So, neat! I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, of course, you can use this in the Evil Driver as well. Just, it'll be the Evil Driver standby sounds. It's really the only difference. Uh, so, really, really cool. That about does it for this thing. Uh, my favorite toy of the line thus far. It just the sounds are great. It looks great. The lights are great. Everything about this is great. And this would probably be like the singular full bottle I kept from this entire line. I love it. And if you haven't picked it up yet, definitely do so. This is great. So that about does it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.